Tom in Bergen, Norway writes to me. Hi, Paul. Hey, Tom. I have a question regarding PCM, DSD, and DOP. I'm running my digital audio files through a Mac Mini using Audervana. Since I am playing DSD 512 versus, uh, via DOP, will this signal be of roughly the same quality as a recording in native DSD format? The DAC tells me that the played music file is DSD 512 and the switches indicate with their LED lights that a constant stream of music is being transported, not small packets as with PCM playback. Compared to direct playback of PCM, the conversion via DOP and DSD 512 sound far superior. Am I hearing correctly? And am I really hearing DSD? Or have I misunderstood something? No, Tom, I think you have it. It's, it can be a little confusing. So let's, I know we've been through this before, but sometimes, as I often say, the more we go over something in slightly different words and tones, uh, the more likely it is that this information will be absorbed. So uh, DOP is DSD over PCM, okay? And that sounds ominous. As soon as you hear DSD over PCM, what do you think, right? We're converting it to PCM. No, we're not. It, we really aren't. So just briefly, and I know we've been through this before, as I said, DSD is a string of one bit ones and zeros that is a continuous stream. And at 512, that sucker's running, that's like 22 megahertz, something like that. I mean, because we do everything at half that, DSD 256 at Octave Records. And I gotta tell you, that's, that is a challenge. When you try and do 32 channels <laughs> at each one is 11 megahertz of single bit data. I mean, it sounds amazing. And 512, double that. But we, we could not do that. That Our computers at Octave Records are the fastest, biggest that money can buy today. I mean, we invested a ton. They're actual gaming computers. They are, are Chris Brunhaber, our speaker designer, built these things. They are hot rods, but they do handle great 32-bit DSD-256. We could not do double that. We could not do 64 channels or 32 channels of, of um, 512. So anyway, so 256 is running at 11 megahertz, 11.2 or something, and um, DSD-526 uh, uh, is, is that right? I'm, I get I get all confused with all these numbers. 512, it's double 256, <laughs> sorry. Anyway, that's running at about 22 megahertz. So what do we do? Well, computers don't recognize DSD, so we have to convert it to DOP. That is, unless it's a very special computer like, like ours at Octave. And they have special drivers and all this stuff. So we take chunks out of that add up to, I think it's 16 bits, if I remember right. I think we take, we break up the DSD into 16 bit so boom, 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 16, grab that, add a header and a footer, and call it a packet, a PCM packet. Now the data inside is unchanged. So it isn't PCM. It's just bits that are buried in this PCM uh, you know, travel bag, if you will. And we break it all up. We send it in little packets. It gets all taken apart. The DSD gets put back together. It is absolutely perfect and the same, whether it comes in those hidden little packets of DOP or direct like it is in our pyramid system, then there, there is no difference. So yeah, you got it, that's the deal, and, and you're doing great. I, I still am unconvinced that DSD 512 has any advantage over DSD 256, or for that matter, uh, the DSD-128. From everything I can tell, DSD-128 is the sweet spot. That's, you don't want to go lower than that. DSD-64, DSD-128, that's the sweet spot. Now, we do DS, double that, DSD-256, why? Well, because we can, 
and because we're crazy. <laughs> All right. Thanks. <laughs> Good luck out there. Bye.